So a few of our subscribers ask us, what approach do you take to cleaning a stylus? The cantilever and the diamond tip that hangs from underneath every cartridge. So we wanted to bring that to you today. The most common approach we take, and the one that I use basically between every record side that I play, is to apply a dry brush. This one happens to be from the company Last. There's a lot of uh, dry stylus brushes out there. This dry brush approach stands in contrast to what we do with records. We never use a dry brush on records. Much prefer the Giotto Blaster for that initial cleaning off of the large debris. But when it comes to the stylus, we think a dry brush is best. This is very, very common. A lot of folks use this. However, periodically, the stylus will get dirty enough that the, bride, the dry brush doesn't do the trick. So every once in a while, how often that is depends on how many records you play, but say once a month or so, maybe more frequently, I like to apply a different approach, one of two or both of these approaches. Either a sticky-like substance. Uh, this is one example. I'm sorry, I don't know who manufactured this. I've had it for some 20 years now. But it's basically a Play-Doh or Silly Putty-like uh, consistency to it. And basically, you take this and just put it up into the uh, diamond tip. You want to make sure that the tone arm is not locked into place when you do that. So that could, could cause damage. But if you just gently bring it up into that tip, anything that is adhering to the, to the diamond stylus tip will get stuck in this substance. And then as that gets dirty over time, you just slice off uh, the end. This has been sliced several times to reveal a, a clean portion of the material. There is a similar option available from DS Audio. This is the ST50. Uh, again, I like to use these sparingly. I think if you use these too much, you, you run the risk of, of transferring the, the material onto your stylus, and you don't want to do that. But I do like, as I say, periodic, periodically to use one of these two um, materials. This is very similar. It's kind of a slightly sticky kind of thing, and you just lift it right up into the into the diamond tip, and stuff will stick on it. You'll see it. Uh, to Obviously, this one is not one that you would cut off uh, over time, but simply wash. And it does come clean and let it dry and you can continue to use it. When I do this about every month or so, I like to follow it up with a liquid cleaning. We have two samples here. Again, this is last and this is from the Disc Doctor. I don't think this one is made any longer. So uh, I have been using, I have tried the Disc Doctor's Stylus Clean Fluid. I like it a lot. It comes with its own application, its own brush to basically to run down the cantilever and onto the diamond tip itself. That process I would not want to overuse. You, could, you can abuse this. Too much liquid on that diamond tip. There have been stories about diamond tips coming loose over time. So I recommend using both of the, the sticky material approach and the liquid approach rather sparingly. But every time you play a record side, hit it with that dry brush. That'll keep your record needle nice and clean. Okay, fellas, we have three bits of advice for you to consider when cleaning your stylus. First of all, you never want to have the tone arm locked into position. Here on the Lin Sondak, the tone arm locks in via pressure system, just like that. Other turntables will have a little latch or other mechanism to keep it locked in place. When you're cleaning the stylus, you want it unlocked and just resting gently. That way, if you put a little bit too much pressure during the cleaning process, you'll simply lift the tone arm up and won't risk damaging the actual cantilever, which of course would be disastrous. The second piece of advice we have is when utilizing the brush, uh, any brush, be it a dry brush or a wet brush, you wanna move it from the rear of the uh, cartridge towards the front. Actually, you're just brushing along the cantilever. Don't start at the cantilever and go back. You'll bend it backwards and crack that cantilever. Thirdly, we recommend using the most powerful of all your senses, your hearing. Don't try to look at the, at the cantilever and how the brush bristles come in contact with it. Simply turn on your system, turn up the volume a wee bit, just enough so that you can hear, and let your ears guide you as to the amount of pressure that you should take. It should sound something like this. And there you go. 
when utilizing some sort of putty or other type of material where you're going to lift it up onto the uh, stylus tip and hopefully bring off any anything that's stuck to that tip, there it's even more important that the tone arm not be locked down because you are literally going to lift it up in the process. I recommend three times and it'll sound something like this. And lastly, a wet brush. This brush from this doctor, by the way, is just fantastic for the purpose. Same idea. That one's a lot quieter because the disc doctor brush is, is so very soft. And there you have it. That's how we clean a stylus here at Let's Clean a Record. Till next time, we'll see you at the next record.